Hi, so one of the key things when you're looking at graphene is intercalating graphene compounds. Now, what intercalation means is ramming something there between the two layers of the graphite. Because the graphite is like lots of little layers of graphene all in a big old stack, and that makes you graphite. Those layers can be forced apart if we stuff something in there. And that action of putting something in between those layers is intercalation. Now, we can put lots and lots of different things in there. And those things that we put in there are intercalating species. So what we're going to do is intercalate a species into the graphite here and exfoliate it. The species that we're going to intercalate is the bisulfide because it's really, really easy to do. Now it's easy to do and doesn't use much of the word chemicals, but unfortunately it does use very strong acids, hence red gloves. So what we're going to use is sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid is the bit that's going to get rammed in between the layers of the, graphite, uh, the graphene and we're going to help that happen by using an oxidising agent which is nitric acid. What that does is the graphene flies like that. The nitric acid will open it a bit so the bisulfide can be shoved in that much easier and it makes it a very simple process. Now it's a 9 to 1 ratio of 96% sulfuric acid. So we bung in here 180 millilitres of sulfuric acid at 96%. And then we add 20 millilitres of 69% nitric acid. Now you really ought to do this in a fume cupboard because the nitric acid does fume. And if you put in our 20 millilitres, then that is our intercalation solution. All we now actually have to do with that is put in the graphite. Now there's a minimum size that you can use. If you use something that's round about <coughs> 50 microns or so, it will go in quite easily, but it'll come out quite easily. If you use something smaller than that, it'll happen so quickly, it won't actually intercollect. What you need to do is use something around about 100 to 150 microns. That intercollects easily, but once you finish the process, it stays in there. Now what I'm going to use is this stuff. It's actually rather large flake graphite. So we've got some large flake graphite and that's what I'm going to use to intercollect. And all you do is literally put it in there. And that is now intercollected. If you leave that overnight, you will get back this stuff. This is intercalated graphite. Now obviously you don't do it one at a time. I did about 50 grams. So 50 grams in there will do it. And I'm doing another one here, and that has 100 grams in it. So this is a real easy thing to do. It just uses very strong acid to fume, so you're better off in the fume cupboard, outside, wear gloves, take precautions, all that sort of stuff. Once that's intercalated, then you just pick it out and wash it. And the acid remains inside the graphite. So this is actually perfectly safe to handle, because the acid is actually in the layers, and that has been washed. So what we're going to do now with that is expand it. So all we're going to do now, now we've actually intercalated that graphite, is exfoliate it. And there's two key ways of exfoliating it. One is slightly better, the other is slightly easier. So I'm going to show you the slightly easier one, and it's here. Notice how little there is. The way to exfoliate it is just to apply heat. There you go. Isn't that amazing? So that tiny, tiny piece of graphite expands out to that. That actually is graphite nanoplatelets. We still need to put that into a somicator or a shear mixer to turn it into graphene. But that tiny little bit of graphite goes out that far. 
Now that was the easy way to do it, now let's do the better way. So the better method of doing this is in your microwave. This is just a normal microwave, it's actually quite weak, it's a 700 watt microwave, and we've got some of our interpolated crystals here. Again, notice how little there are. That tiny, tiny bit is perhaps no bigger than my thumbnail, or two of my, yeah, yeah, it's no bigger than my thumbnail. So we put it on to high power, stick it in the microwave, and watch it. And there you go. That tiny thumbnail has made that much. So there you go. That's how you turn graphite into graphene. So we intercalate this. About that much graphite makes about that much expanded graphite. So we intercalate this. We heat it either by a torch or by a microwave. It will turn into this. You then put that into a solvent and sonicate it or shear mix it and you'll get graphene nanoplatelets or graphene. And it's an absolute fascinating material. So I hope you enjoyed that and hope it was of interest and thank you very much for watching.